absolute best part of being a car camping hobo is you get to wake up and beachfront property every morning. Check it out. So like right behind the construction yard right there, let me zoom in for you. Right there, that's the ocean. Another thing that's amazing is you get Urban's natural alarm clock, construction work. Gets me up bright and early every morning at 7 a.m. Get to start the day off being really pissed off and uh, just wishing I could sleep just a little bit more. But here we are, waking up early. We're gonna spend the day on the beach, getting a nice bronze. But as you can see, it's kind of a shitty day out. So instead, we're just gonna do something shitty. It's time to go explore some naturally occurring urban phenomenon. On my way back from the beach, I ran into Michelle, who was braiding a fellow hobo's hair. So I asked her. Here. Can you do my hair? Yeah, I can do braids. What do yeah, you think? This is more than long enough. Can we try it? Yeah. Let's get some braids. Is this up right now? Oh, no, I'm yes. Let me wash this palm out. It was at this point I knew without a doubt I'm getting lice. Ooh, so that took 90 minutes. Definitely got my vitamin D for the day, but I am thirsty. In my exploration of nature in an urban environment, I had to be prepared to accept any new experience. I was walking to get a drink, and I thought, there's nothing more fundamental in the natural culture of mammals than grooming each other's hair. Mammals have been doing it since before the dawn of man. Grooming is a natural act of kindness amongst mammals, and it was heartwarming to see Michelle doing the same thing for me. We stood out there in the hot sun, well, she groomed my hair. And in our investigation of urban nature, it was good to see it perpetuated by such a kind-hearted person. I don't know about you guys, but I'm parched, so let's go to the local watering hole and get some beverage. They call him El Coco Tazo, which means the big coconut. Because he looks, uh, because he, because he sells coconuts. Nothing hydrates like a coconut. Full of potassium and electrolytes and a lot of water. And a lot of azucar as well. Local watering holes like El Coco Tavo are almost as important to the urban environment as your local fire department or police force. Because after all, daily hydration is almost as important as daily uh, other things that end in Asian. On my way to the last side of the day, I kept seeing signs everywhere. Was God trying to tell me something? But then I saw this sign. Nope, I guess it wasn't God. I must just be getting hungry. We've arrived at our lunch location. We're gonna have a picnic at a Doral County Waste Disposal Site. Mount Trashmore is 170 acres of trash, taking in approximately 3,000 new tons of trash per day. You know what? Fuck you. This isn't the History Channel. I'm gonna enjoy my picnic. <laughs> The nice thing about having a picnic at a waste disposal site is when you're done, yeah, you can just leave everything where it's at and head on home. <coughs> oh, fuck. This place stinks. That burger's coming back up. 